I got the audition for Mayans. And, and the way that happened, it's kind of crazy, is I did a skit comedy thing called Dads and Parks. It's on YouTube. It's just this dad sitting at a park talking shit. Right? It's just, it's kind of fun. It did well. It, it kind of blew up. And AMC called us and said they want a second series of that. And they're going to put during their, um, before the previews, they're going to put these dads and parks. And we're going to talk about subjects that mean, make sense to AMC. So like the Marvel movie was coming out soon, Endgame. So we talked about Marvel and it was just like this banter. Got it. And I'm in LA filming those. And my buddy Steve Howey from Shameless, that's just a homie. He's just like, uh, we, we became friends by, by chance. He, okay. he, he came on set one day during our movie production, production. And he was a fan of our YouTube skits. It was just special operations dudes making fun of each other. And uh, I text him, I was like, hey, bro, I'm in town filming this skit comedy thing, and I, and I heard Mines is still auditioning. I don't have representation. I don't know what to do, but I'm interested. Would you know anyone? He goes, I actually know the casting director. And I was like, oh. He goes, let me email her real quick. And he emailed her. And she goes, can he act? He goes, I don't know. Let me get your stuff. <laughs> so we sent this reel. I already had the reel together, right? Because yeah. I'm like, I'm wanting to do this. I knew I did enough research to know what I needed. Yeah. Had a headshot, had a reel, had a bio, photo it over, boom. Hours later, boom, sides. Like, oh, fuck. What do I do now? Yeah, like, I told my wife, like, are we, do we want to do this? Yeah, like, yeah. Like, are you, like w w what if I get it? What the yeah. fuck's that even mean? You know what I mean? So, the ne like, <laughs> I'm just like as fuck, bro. So I'm like reading these words. I'm like, there's no way I'm saying it right because like yeah. the d d fucking things are crooked. So I have my lady read it for me. And I'm like, okay. That, then I got it, and then I audioed it to myself, and I recorded it all night. I'm like listening to the lines, like, because Steve's like one rule. Be off paper, dog. Yeah. Be off book. Just yeah. go in there and do it. I'm like, yeah. oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. And then, I, dude, I, I don't know very much about acting other than like instinctual, like just fucking be in it, dog. Like sure. just do the thing, you sure. know? And so I shave my fucking head fresh. I make my face look, I look like the LA fucking cholo that everyone expects, <laughs> right? Like not even a biker, dude. Like I just showed up with baggy ass pants, fucking Cortez is on. You know what I mean? I had a fucking wife beater on yeah. and a fucking, it's it just, I just look like a typical cholo. I don't yeah. know what I was thinking, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm just like, just look the part, bro. You know what I mean? And I'm already tatted up, right? I was tatted like as a federal agent. So I was yeah. like, oh, it's a good choice now. Like it works for this, you know? Yeah. It hasn't yeah. worked since, bro, but <laughs> 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 it hasn't worked since. I can't even get a job as a federal agent on TV, bro. Yeah. But yeah, so I show up to this motherfucker uh, and me and my wife kind of like, we're, we're, we're enjoying the experience, right? And so we walk up there. Wendy O'Brien is like, sweetest lady in the world yeah, yeah, she's yeah. she's she's the one who gave me the chance right yeah, so man. she let me in the room and, and i did the audition and she gives me this big old hug and a kiss on the cheek and she gives my wife a big hug and kiss on the cheek. i'm like I'm like fuck they're friendly here dude like maybe you i brought your wife into the audition bro i don't know you yeah, not really amazing. <laughs> how is that wait, wrong wait, 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 i mean she like rolled into the room with you no she just sat outside and waited okay okay yeah okay, and okay, then, okay, as cool, we're leaving cool, cool. As I, I was like what the fuck <laughs> watch me girl yeah, yeah, I, do, I don't know it's my wife <laughs> We have this relationship, man, where she's with me all the time anyways. It, so it's I like, it. I didn't know any better, right? And yeah. so we walk out of there, she gives us a big old hug, and we're like, okay, cool. So at the time, we didn't move to Utah yet. We were just about to start getting ready to Utah, so we flew back to El Paso. I had like 700 bucks in my account, bro. Like, like we're trying to figure this out. You know what I mean? Like, I'm doing speaking engagements to fucking keep the, keep the bank, you know? And uh, get an email saying they want to do a second read. I'm like, oh shit, what does that mean? They want a second audition. So I called Steve. I'm like, what does that mean? He goes, dude, go. Yes. Kurt Sutter wants to see you now. I'm like, oh okay. fuck, this is cool. So now I got two characters. I got a serious one and a and a and a, and a comedy one. So I remember these lines. I flew back alone. Maybe a serious one and like a, a serious one. dude and then a comedy kind of piece. Like for Mayans? For Mayans. So there's two different characters I'm now okay. auditioning for. Got it, got a it. Got serious it, got dude it. and some comedy dude, right? Got it, got it, got it. And so um I fly back to LA and the only dude that can take is my dad, because I don't have a car there. My wife has to take care of the kids. And a vacation's over. Right? It was spring break, so vacation's over. Right. Kids are there. And I'm like, all right, I'm going to go back and try and figure this out. Showed up looking like a dumb cholo again. Like, yeah. I don't, like, so what does your pop say? You're like, pops, give me a ride bro, to this audition. Like, what's he saying? Dude, bro, he rides with the Firehogs, right? L.A. City fucking MC, right? right and right. so he's like, Vinny, this is amazing. I love Sons of Anarchy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All of a sudden, yeah, you finally got yeah, that on. I'm proud of you, kid. Now he's proud. Yeah, 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 now yeah. he's proud, fucking right? doing a play actor, <laughs> putting on fucking makeup, and being a fucking bitch on TV. Yeah, yeah now he's fucking been an American hero oh, and shit. Bro, amazing. trust me, we have, we have conversations about, like, if I have an emotional scene with Vinny I don't know how you do that I mean, <laughs> <laughs> so impressed yeah he's too yeah, he's fucking dude. nuts dude yeah, yeah so uh so yeah dude so we show up and and you know he's like you think they have a part for me I'm like shut the fuck <laughs> can I try and get the job first you know, you know what I mean like so funny dude that dude is always so he yeah. sits down I go do the audition and I do the serious one first and like Steve said Steve Howard was like you've been to combat there's nothing to be afraid of in here you go in there own this room straight right? up just be confident as fuck and he goes shake their hands do your piece, shake their hands, get the fuck on. Okay. I'm like, all right, cool. So I have that in mind. 
um, I go and do the serious one. Boom, knock it out. And then I get the comedy piece. They're like, okay, cool. I get the second one. I was like, okay. And I do the comedy piece, and somewhere in that, bro, I kind of black out, dog. It's like Will Ferrell and fucking old school, bro. I'm like, shoot. And I come back, and everyone's like, ha, ha. And I'm like, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> shake hands, shake hands, shake hands. Get the fuck out of there, right? Yeah. So we're leaving, man. I'm like, and my dad's like, how's it going? I was like, I fucking think it did good. We're all laughing. Like, it was real belly laughs. You know what yeah. I mean? And he's jumping. I was like, oh, Vinny. And he's on my back jumping on me. And I dad's short, bro. He's like five, seven, like. Luckily, five seven, if that. Yeah. And he's jumping on my back and he's like, Evan, yeah, it's so cool, man. What if you get it? And I'm like, I yeah. will see. And I put my arm in and we just walked to the car, dude. Yeah. Story has it. Wendy O'Brien said Kurt Sutter was watching from the second story and watched it and was like, He was what? He was watching as my dad was doing that. Uh, and he was just like, Yeah, that's, he said something like that. Was, that's real. That's real. Boom. Got the job. Fuck yeah. Bro, before this, like, I, independent, bro. I, I, I filmed my own shit with the smallest budget where, like, I'm yeah. eating my, crafty on a tire of a Fuck tractor it. you know I get it. I get it. the first day I said I'm like fuck we're the real deal dog wow yeah wow yeah wow dude I love that and and, and so you know I I, I still got a, a, a bunch more shit man I, I I guess like take take me back because I know that there was also you you know you went you went into like a pretty severe like mental crisis like you went to you went through like a, a pretty severe like you were in a pretty low place and, and I know like a lot of this was like, you, you know, I mean, from our last conversation yeah. that we had with like, just this, 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 like, just, just regimen of, of, of medicine, this, like yeah. these pills that you were on yeah. and stuff like, what, you know, like, was that before this? It's kind of all happening. It's kind of all, you good? Yeah, I'm good. I just, I, I thought that, that might be somebody trying to come in. I don't want yeah, Bam Bam to kill him. <laughs> all right, all good. Let's go. No, I mean, during all this, you know, we're starting to see things are getting harder for me. Um. You know, there's a Thanksgiving. We just moved to to uh, Utah, and there's a Thanksgiving, and I'm I'm having these weird night terrors. You know what I mean? It's hard to explain, man, because like you, you hear all these exaggerated versions of what PTSD is, and 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 I don't want to give any like truth to any. It's just it's just a, a, someone's idea of what PTSD is, and some some have it all kinds of different ways. But I ended up um, I was cooking ham for Thanksgiving, and um. Dude, I, I woke up early to do the Thanksgiving dinner because I do Thanksgiving meal. I'm the one who cooks all of it, right? So everyone chills out while I do it. It's just my thing. And as I was ready late in the day, 2 o'clock or so, I'm starting to heat up the ham to get dinner ready. And um, I fell asleep on the couch, man. I was just fucking exhausted. And the honey-baked ham, the honey was like, or whatever, was spilling over to the side and causing a fire underneath, you know, in the, in the, in the oven. And I'm asleep, man. And my wife's like, babe, it's fire. And um, dog... This is like when I knew I, 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 I would have these outer body experiences from this point. I uh, woke up and I don't remember any of it other than watching myself do it, but I jumped over the couch, screaming at the top of my lungs, jumped over the couch again, jumped back over the couch, ran, shut it off, came back and started just screaming ah, like that. And in my heart, there was an incident in Afghanistan where when I wasn't working the ranger stuff, I would volunteer at the, at the cash, like the casualty, casualty collection points pretty much in, in, in Afghanistan. And when one of these days, a family of seven or eight showed up and they all got burned really bad. Um, the dad accidentally put, I think it was gasoline in a kerosene lamp and it blew up when they sat down to eat dinner. So they all fucking burned. An Afghani, uh, an yeah, Afghani family, family. Yeah. like straight up Afghani family. Right. Um, and so for dude, a month or so I was helping them. I was cleaning their injuries I was scrubbing them, giving them, we're giving them ketamine, we're keeping them alive, and we're, we're, we're removing all the dead skin so it doesn't get infected, and then we're covering it with silver dean and wrapping them up and sending them on their way. And within a month, like, every single one of them died, but so the mom. And I'm working on these kids that are like kids of my own age, dude, and I smell this. And so, like, that haunted me for so long that the burn thing is, like, still a very sensitive subject to me that I don't understand. Like, it's right. something I, I haven't been able to fix. Sure. And so now, take it back, I'm cooking this fucking ham, which burnt skins, it's a similar fucking weird, distinct smell. Um, it's kind of like this very, you know, it's kind of bridged that gap for me in that moment. And... I thought I burned my family, dog. I thought wow. I burned them. And it was like, my feelings were so like, how did I let that happen? And it's almost like projecting what that father might have felt when he made a mistake, you know? And and I'm screaming over like, ah, my wife's like walking to me slowly. She's like, babe, 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 babe. And finally I'm like, holy shit. What was that? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, what the fuck was that? Yeah. And the worst part about it, man, is that my now 15-year-old son uh, was right under me. 
as I'm screaming and he's screaming at the top of his head thinking I was going to fucking I think he thought I, he didn't know I lost control he thought like I was going to hurt him or something man and and it terrified the fuck out of him mm-hmm. and um you know I think that actually led to the future where he 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 doesn't live with me anymore no he lives with his birth mom mm. and I think he felt very scared at that moment of of me and and I it's a hard thing to be a, 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 a man in a house that doesn't know when you're going to lose control. And it's not a lose control. Uh, it's just, I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't feel good to know that that might happen again. And it has happened three more times. And um, I know now that that triggers something to do with burns. Anytime there's something to do with burns, I can tell that I, I just I kind of lose contact and I'm like living out of my body and I'm screaming and I'm fearful, you know. Mm-hmm.